Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with the Rude Man. In the last episode, I was talking about mods, and I realized I tried to use the speed mod, and it didn't work. And I found out when I logged in today that I had not turned the mod on in the folder. It's pretty simple to use. You just hit the one button, and that gets you super slow walking. As you can see, it's very slow. Why you'd want to walk this slow, I don't know. And then if you hit two, it gives you a little bit of a speed. So this is faster than normal. Now, if you kick the, the go trigger in, it, it, it speeds it up. Well, no, it doesn't really, does it? Anyway, and then if you really think you got to get to some place in a hurry, you hit the three key and you're, you're just flying so fast you can hardly control it. So, there you go. I'm going to set it on two, so it's a little bit faster than normal. If you want if you want normal, you hit the zero key, and that puts you back in normal walking, which is kind of slow. Now, you can speed it up by hitting the, the accelerator trigger. Uh, did I say trigger? Trigger. Uh, but if you just want all around a little bit faster, just hit the two, and you can go this fast. You know, it's not it's not uncontrollable, but it's a little faster than normal. So there you go. All right, let's get back to the fields, what we were doing last time. And let's dump this while we're at it. Let's see, that, that one doesn't do anything, does it? Huh. I wonder if I can change that. I might try to change that. Uh, I was pushing on the left plunger. On my uh, FS19 game, the left plunger with the controller, uh, it started the engine. So now I have to hit the right bumper and the X key to start the engine, and I'm not used to it. Uh, and no, obviously I haven't hooked up my wheel yet, so because I'm still using the controller. Where's my truck? Didn't I have... No, I didn't have a truck. I have um, a trailer. Going inside cuts all the sound out from the wind and stuff. That's kind of cool. I don't know if it did that in, in 19... I like this little tractor. It's a nice little tractor. Doesn't go very fast, but we're not needing to go very fast. Yeah, I um, just spent about an hour looking at mods. Every time I log in to uh, the mod page that I look at there's dozens of new mods there's just more and more every day like I said though you have to be careful there's a lot of people that for some reason think that you can take a FS19 mod and just throw it in the in the FS22 mod folders and it's going to work so as I'm going through these mods uh you got to be careful on what you're putting in your mod folder because people are there. I don't know if they're doing it on purpose or if they don't realize that it's a different game and that FS19 mods aren't going to necessarily work in Farm Sim 22. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, I guess everybody's trying to be the first to get their mods in and, and they're just taking a 19 mod and throwing it in. All right, Steve is in the uh, in the combine. Let me ask you, patrons out there. I've got uh, patrons are driving the rigs for me, and I in the old nineteen game, I had your full name in there. If you give me a full name, 
uh, if you give me a uh, a name like Scorpion's Edge, uh, obviously that's not his real name. Uh, so I use that. Now, the only... I do have an exception. Um, or maybe two. Uh, Bill is Bill. And if you know Bill, you know he's Ghost Rider. But I, I never called him Ghost Rider. I always just called him Bill because during the game, we always just call him Bill. So, uh, but... I didn't put, I didn't put uh, full names in this time, and maybe I should. Like I had Rose uh, the other day, and it's Rose Crowder, and as you see, I I have Steve in there, and uh, it, he he's Steve the farmer, by the way. What I was thinking when I did that is the patrons know who they are, so Bill knows who he is, Scorpion of course knows who he is, and Steve knows who he is. The only time I might have a problem is with John, but I don't think right now I have another patron named John. I think there's just the one right now. I did have a couple of them in there. So anyway, if you think I need to list your full name, just send me a comment and I'll do it. Tomorrow, I think it's it's late in the evening right now, so I just thought I'd try to make a video while I had time. I've been so busy with the holidays that I haven't had time to work, and decided to come in before I go to bed here. Um, what was I thinking? Oh, for the patrons, I am working on mods and getting a folder put in for Farm Sim 22. So bear with me. And uh, like right now, I don't have a lot of mods. I got about 20 mods. And I haven't finished modding some of them. So as I get them modded, I will uh, start the folder up. I want to see if this mod here, this is a mod, it's a clone of the one that's originally in the game. And you can't tell the difference by looking at it, as far as I can tell. But there is something that I want to check on it that I didn't notice until yesterday. Uh, after I finished recording yesterday, I came up and if you walk up to it, it should tell you what's in there, I think. It does canola and wheat is in there and how much interesting so uh, even the mod does that so there you go I like it I like it Park this here for a minute and let's see. Get this thing started. Oh, the pedals do work. Yeah, they do. Okay. I don't think I seeded this field here. Another little detail that I like, and if you look at the RPMs, I'm running just between eight and nine on the tractor. Now, I don't know if it'll do it with the cedar, but if you if you uh, now turn the cedar on, watch the R RPM and see if it goes up, and it does. So it's powering, it's powering the cedar now. So let's uh, lower the cedar. 
and let's hire a worker and watch that RPM as we start putting a load on it. It fluctuates up and down. Pretty cool. And we've got uh, Matt is here on uh, this tractor. We got Steve the farmer. Yeah, see, I want to get a mod. Uh, combine mod goes a little bit faster. This is an in-game mod, uh, in-game piece of equipment here. Wow, he's almost full. All right, let's go get the tractor. Get him up there. Yeah, I'm gonna, I want to sell some of the fruit because I don't have any money. I've got 65000 and I've got equipment to buy. I don't have a... I've got that little bitty cedar, but I'm not going to seed these fields with that little bitty cedar. So uh, I want to buy a bigger cedar. I've got the one in mind I want to get. I, did, I don't have a large truck and trailer for the grain. This thing doesn't hold very much. That's why that combine filled up so fast this does not take it down very far yeah it does a pretty good job of taking it well that better than I thought it did I, I forget this is uh, combine is not a mod <laughs> my mods usually hold quite a bit more grain all right, so I want to I want to show you a little bit here on um, on the uh, built-in. I'm going to call it course play. I, I don't know if it is or not. Uh, I could just call it intelligent AI. Uh oh, it's raining on me. Oh man. Thunder, lightning, everything frightening. Okay, so I'm gonna do. Um, right there. Let's see. Where's my cell point? Let's say I go up. Here's the farm. I go up this way. I think there's. Right there, I think. What is that? That's a sawmill. That's not what I'm looking for. Is it here? Animal dealer. Sawmill. Sawmill. Johnson's Farmer's Market. All right, Johnson's Farmer's Market. Okay. I, I think that will do um, fruit, I think. All right, so let's see. I'm going to do this right here. We're going to, where's my piece of equipment? Is that it? Is that it right there? I think that's, no, this is it right here. Okay, that's the one I want. We're going to create a job. Um, load and deliver okay I, i've already got it loaded so i'm going to just deliver it unloading station 
Johnson's Family uh, Farmers Market, uh, Looping Job, sure, why not? And then let's um, let's um, select that, pick a target. Do I have to target position? I don't know if I have to do that. Loading position. That's the loading position. Um, all right. Let me see if I've, I, I've not done a delivery yet. I've done a, a transfer of a piece of equipment before. Let's see what happens here. Okay. That's not it. 7810 That's not it. Uh Okay, let's try this again. We're going to we're going to mark that the, that one there. Let's see. The MF33670 create a job. We're going to do delivery to Johnson's Market, loading position. I, I'm just gonna leave it where it is and then we're gonna start it and see what he does. All right, so he's taken off. Okay, here he comes. Now, I think what I can do is let's say that I have a grain um, auger out on the field, an overloader. I can have the tractor setting on the field in a particular spot, set it to loop, set it to load and deliver. It'll come back to the field, I think, and, and it'll stop. And then I can take my overloader over, fill the thing up, and it'll take off, sell it, and bring it back. Now, I could actually have it delivered to, you know, my silo over there. But I want to sell it because I need the money. So, we're just doing a little science here. I got to learn how to use this, this new system here. Why did you change lanes? Maybe he didn't. Oh, what? I thought he was going to turn there. All right. I'm making myself dizzy. I was hoping that they... You know, in in uh, FS19, I've got a mod that lets me fly. And I thought that as far as role playing, you're not flying. You, you're, you're in a drone, is what I would say. Because a lot of farmers use drones now when they're YouTubing. And so I thought maybe FarmSim22 would put a drone system in. So that you could actually fly around and take pictures of your farm and, you know, follow your tractors around, that kind of thing. I was hoping they'd do something like that. It'd be easy to do. I don't know why they didn't do something like that. I can hear my little feet pitter-patter, pitter-patter. I think we're getting close. I think it's in these buildings right up here. Yeah, there's Johnson's Farmer, Farmer's Market. So let's see what he's going to do. I'm 
Man, she's shifting gears. Look at that. She's having to shift down and get up that hill with a load. Sweet. I wonder what this other spot's for here. By gosh, it's gonna work. Listen to those sounds, I love it. Look at that, it's working. All right, Bill's, Bill's working that. So let's see who's finished here. He's finished. Uh, let's start the combine up. Yeah, and let's see if we've got any cleanup to do. Is that wheat? Well, I could get that. I don't know if it makes any difference. It's not gonna, it's not gonna amount to much. But while I'm waiting, oh, I can't. It's raining. It's not gonna let me do this. I don't think. In the old game, you couldn't. You couldn't. Um, yeah. Oh, it reduces the yield. Oh, interesting. Interesting, it's still working, it just reduces the yield. I wonder why they did that. I'm gonna have to bring us out to this little road here. We'll wait for our tractor to come back. Okay, so this is going to be cool because in all of 2019, uh, we couldn't do any kind of course play with overloaders. So this looks like we're going to maybe be able to make use of overloaders again uh, to automate the uh, work that needs to be done. Let's get out of here. See where our tractor's at. Is, uh, is Bill on his way home? Yep, Bill's on his way home. Now, what he's going to do is, because I didn't set up a loading spot, uh, it was the spot that he took off from. So I think he's going to drive back over, is what I think is going to happen. He's going to drive back over to where I started, which was right here, I think. find out in a minute here so what I should be able to do is I should be able to start here and say load here drive to the market sell the grain and come back and do it again I should be able to do that Oh, it was here. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Is he gonna go around the building? Billy, you going around the building? That's what he's doing. Sweet. So, uh oh. Whoa, where are you going? Let's uh, let's take over. Uh, dismiss the AI worker. All right. Now, the thing is that we can set this up, but I don't think there's any way to save the course. I'm hoping that uh, modders will be able to do something with this AI. 
now I could be completely wrong. I, I I'm only just I've only just played this game a couple of hours, so there's still a lot to learn. But I didn't see any place that you could actually save a course. So let me line this up here. I'm gonna line this up here. Yeah, right there. All right, now let's see what we can do. I'm running out of time here. Let's do this quickly. It's gonna create a job. Um, okay, that's it right there. Let's do a load and deliver. Yeah, load and deliver to Huh, I don't see. Okay, there's my multi-logger. Load and deliver grain pool east. Uh Is there wheat in there? I think there is wheat in there. Loading station. Loading station. Um, Maurice. Wheat. Okay. Unloading station. Johnson's Family Market. And it's looping. And start the job. And let's see what happens. If anything. Target is unreachable. Huh. It's a destination created job. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, Let's pull it here like this and try this. We're going to do uh, MF3640. Is that what that is? 3670. MS3670. Create a job. Load and deliver. Maurice Multilogger. Canola, Johnson's Family Farm, looping, start the job, and let's see what happens. Nothing's happening. Target is unreachable. That's Rose. Is this Rose here? Must be. Nobody else is working. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Create a job, load and deliver, multi-logger, canola, unloading station, looping, no looping, looping. And then start the job. AL worker Lynn has stopped working, I expect a target is unreachable. Okay, so which target is unreachable? Is it talking about Morris that's unreachable? All right, I start from here and create a job, load deliver, Maurice, Canola, Johnson Family Farm, start the job. Um, it target is unreachable. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to work on this. Um, and see if there's something I'm missing. There must be a, a step or something I'm missing. So, but I'm I'm actually to the end of my time today. Let me go ahead and stop the uh, the video here. I hope you had fun. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next one. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, take care of your families, and ta-ta for now.